One thing that students find quite difficult is make the transition from working in degrees for angles to working in radians. So that's what we're going to have a look at in this tutorial, specifically converting between the two. So look at this question here. It says convert 56 degrees to radians, given the answer in exact form. Well, first of all, let's start off by writing a fact about degrees and radians that we know to be true. We know that 360 degrees is 2 pi radians. So that's going to be our starting point. The little c there stands for radians. So we want to turn this here into 56 degrees. So if 360 degrees equals 2 pi radians, to get 1 degree, we can divide by 360. That gets us down to 1 degree. Then scale it back up to 56 degrees to get 56 degrees there. Now, by proportion, if we do exactly the same thing to the right-hand side, divide by 360 times by 56, 2, 2 pi divided by 360 times 56, we end up with 14 45ths pi. Let's write that down, 14 45ths pi. And it wouldn't be appropriate to round this um, to a, a convert it to a decimal form because the question asks for the answer in exact form. So the answer is 14 45ths pi. Don't convert to a decimal once the answer in exact form. Okay, part B. Convert 3 fifths pi radians to degrees. Okay, let's start off with our fact that we know to be true. 360 degrees is 2 pi radians. This time, we want to go down to 1 radian, so we'll divide by 2 pi. Then scale it back up to 3 fifths radians, 3 fifths pi radians, which gives us 3 fifths pi radians. Then do exactly the same thing to the left hand side, divide by 2 pi times by 3 fifths pi. So 360 divided by 2 pi times 3 fifths pi equals 108 degrees so 108 degrees making the answer prominent 108 degrees there it is there now the third part a little bit more confusing because the radians doesn't have a pi attached to it it's 2.6 radians not 2.6 pi radians so we're going to try and convert that to degrees so part C, let's start off with our fact that we know to be true again. 360 degrees is 2 pi radians. Okay, and now we want 2.6 radians. So divide by 2 pi to get 1 radian, but now times by 2.6 to get 2.6 radians. Not 2.6 pi, there's no pi attached to the 2.6 there. So that gives us 2.6 radians. Do exactly the same thing to the other side. Divide by 2 pi times by 2.6. So 360 divided by 2 pi times 2.6 equals 148.969, etc. To three significant figures, that's 149 degrees. Now it's more appropriate around here because the answer wasn't asked for in exact form. So we can leave it as 149 degrees. So there's the conversion between degrees and radians and then back again. For more videos like this and categorised questions resources, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.